getting out of hand. We better take him to the hospital. I have given him the best medicine I could get from the chemist shop at Long Road. But he's not getting any better. Oh God. Then let's take him for a lab test now. We know what exactly is wrong with him. Then we can know the exact tablets to give him. We cannot afford lab tests. We cannot afford lab tests. Test for malaria costs uh, 400 naira. Test for typhoid fever costs uh, uh, about 700 naira. And I have just 215 naira left in this house. The hospital, they don't give credit to anybody. Oh, God. Oh, you better do something, eh? You better do something before we lose our only child. What do I do? What do I do? But you have a brother in Patakot. Eh? Why not go to him, man, so that he will borrow or dash us some money now? My brother Namdi. <laughs> okay. And see him. You asked me to give you 200,000 naira. Wow. You see now. <laughs> you see what we'll call you call <laughs> Man, you weren't going to disappoint me. Just make sure you return the money to where the tax is. Wow, you have no doubt about that. <laughs> I return money in a fortnight. <laughs> I just need it to sort out some business and call this thing. Make sure you return now. Well done. What is this? Why are you here? That's you. Did you do this? Of course I did. So? Can I at least sit down? Whoa, it will be okay. Please, uh, let me take my leave. Tell me why you're here, so you can leave. Nambi, how is business? I, I... Call me Eko Piki. Or do you know I've changed my name? Oh. Eko Piki. How is business and life tonight? Is that all you came from the village to ask? Okay. Business is bad. Very bad. And when business is bad, life in general is bad. My son is very sick. I am not a medical doctor. I know. I need about 5,000 naira to take him to the hospital. My friend, I do not run a loan center in my house. Besides, business is terribly bad, so I don't have any money to give to you now. You are my only hope. Huh? My only brother. Forgive me if I have offended you in any way, but please, help me, please. Spare me the gospel. I am not a Gentile, please. No. Ah, oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry. Uh, if I wear your shoes, I will help you. Well, thank God you're not in my shoes. Besides, I'm traveling to Abuja right now, so you can leave. I've been on the road since. I'm very tired. Let me stay at least. I can go tomorrow. Please, let's go outside. I'm already late for my trip. Let's go. Oh, give me money. 
money for transport at least. You're, you're very selfish. I just told you I have no money and you're telling me to give you transport money back home. My friend, will you get out of this place? Ha <laughs> ha. 
have, you want some money? No, I want some money. Okay, see that we're going to some money. <sighs>
Ati Sugu Apia Golo. What will I do?
is yours. Five thousand naira. Hey, go back here. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. For me alone. Ah. Um. Then what do? This is ten thousand naira for you to pay your children's school fees. Hey, go back here. You will live long ago. Amen. Thank you, my son. Amen. Thank you. Thank you too. My kid will go to school though. Elder Martins, this is yours. Five thousand naira. Thank you very much. Hey, go back here. You continue to live long Amen. for us. Amen. <laughs> over it. It has robbed me of sleep. Yet I cannot find an answer to it. Cannot find an answer to what? What you may have done to your younger brother to make him treat you like that. Eh? My only brother. Nandi. Well, I laid down my life so that he can pick up his own life. Namdi, you can see how everything is going. Problems here and there. And you know our parents are dead. Uncle, has turned his back on us. I want to stop going to school. I'll stop. Hmm? I too would like to stop. I don't wish to continue. No. You must go to school. Did you hear me? Namdi, you must go to school. One of us must go to school now. And you know it will help us tomorrow. That is true. But how will the money for my education come now? Don't worry. I, I will do anything to get money. I will make sure you go to school. Even to university. Yes. Oh brother, I promise you will never regret anything you do for me. When I grow older, I shall wipe all your tears. It's so fast. Don't worry. We'll go to school.
think I will go to school again. Why? Can you imagine? They say we should bring 3,700 naira. For what? To register for a ride. Thousand seven hundred. It's too much. Inside and eat your food. Hmm? God will make a way. Thank 
time for you to get married. Ah, uh, no, no. I will wait for my brother Nan to finish youth service this year. Then next year I will marry. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you have tried, oh. you know. I know you have spent a lot of money on that, your brother. <laughs> my friend, Obodo. If I don't spend my money on my only brother, Nan, who will I spend it on? He's my only brother. But I in
Somebody. Nay, nay, Martin. Nah. I did not kill her with a with a gun or knife. It was a motor accident. I knocked her down with my car. Where, where did this happen? At Ato Riagro village. Nay, please. I want you to come with me to the village so that we can see the Igwe on this matter. Please. But Komo, did you tell uh, Ina your brother? No, I have not gotten home yet. He is the first person you should tell. Huh? Every hand begins from the shoulders. Um, does it mean you you're not coming with me? No, I even have side problem. Oh, my eyes are pinning me. does not flow upwards. In the war of the birds against their enemies, the ostrich, the king of birds, will lead the way. You have to go and tell your brother he's the right person to know about this first. He then can call us. But my you know my brother will not listen to me. He must listen to you. He must. This matter concerns human life. And besides, you know, my hero, the people who are marrying Wamaka are coming today. So I won't have time to go. for your brother to lead you there himself. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. You are an elder and the Igwe is more inclined to listen to you on this matter. Please. Mm, but I don't want to die now. It can be very dangerous going there. You, you won't go with me? Mm -mm. I don't really mean that. But 
going there with you is like putting my finger into the nose of, of, of a tortoise for it to be cut. He has killed her for money making rituals uh, uh, and, and, and now he's looking for someone that will take him there. You were not hurt. Now, this is what we will do. You will disguise yourself with some of my old clothes. After that, we will pray. Then we will go to Oyako village. You and I. Eh? Calm down. Uh, no, let us go. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Almighty, you know why all these things have happened. As we go to that village now, guide us, protect us, direct us, teach us what to say. Touch the heart of those people. Let them know that the woman who died, what happened, has happened. Let nothing happen to my only brother's camp. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Uh, Ada, take care of the house. Let us fall the car of this harmless, harmless individual that killed Aduga and ran away. Oh, we take it. Take it. Take it. Talk through. Yeah, but most of all, make her yeah. come and sit down here. Huh? Okay, yeah. We are not going to burn this car. Okay, why? No, why? <laughs> Check it now. It could have happened to any one of us. Huh? Besides, we passed through other lands. All right. Would it please you if they burn your car when you accidentally hit somebody? Okay. Yeah. Make her use your brain. That, that, that's true, that's true. But uh, we have to wait for the idiot to show up. Mm -hmm. If he show up, I can't say it. Oh, Pitike, who knows? He might like to sneak away inside with the car. Sneak, we have to be at a light. This car. <laughs> Only don't sleep. 
Yeah. Don't, don't leave it. I don't know how my cock is snake. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you reach there, don't say anything. Right. Let me do the talk. Okay. Eh? okay. No problem. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh. Uh, I'm on that day, you know. Okay. Day, you know. Or the Panama. Or the Chano. Hey, is this not the car that they say killed somebody here today? Oh, you, you, you had it? Hey! This is the car, okay? Uh, we are waiting for the man to come. Mm. He ran away. The man ran away. Mm, he hey. must learn the lesson of his life today. We shall teach him fire here today. Hey, did you see the man? Uh, okay. We don't see the man. But we, we see him. Back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When he was running, yeah. running to the bush. Uh, okay. okay. Ah. Um, my brothers, uh, take it easy. You see, what happened has happened. Mm. Uh, we are coming, eh? Ah. Uh, let us go. Okay. Bulldozer, bulldozer. This is a hard-working and honest man. We used to call him Budoza when I was building this house. But that was years back. <laughs> I hope you are still the hard-working and honest man I used to know. Yeah. Uh, Igwe, Igadi. Yes, sir. I am still hard-working. Okay. Uh, if the mother hen forgets pom pom, <laughs> what will it use to train the children? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but this one will come to my palace to greet me. Are you working in this village? Igwe, my coming to your house is the running of a hen pursued by rain. I have come to your house to seek for shelter. Igwe, mm. that woman killed by a car along the road to this village, the same road that leads to our own village, was killed by my car. Hey! Lock him up! So you killed her sister and ran away? Huh? You killed somebody and ran away? Oh, why are you in a job? That was what I was deliberating on before you came in. I, I did not run away. I did not run away. I had to go for safety. <laughs> The, the youths, I was afraid of their anger. They were so many, they were angry. That dead woman is my sister. Your sister? How? How are you? Hey, I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I have known the offender for a long time. He is a good man. In coming to my house, he has shown me respect and repentance for running away. Let us let us calm down. What has happened has happened. Igwe. Nobody is happy in this village. If I allow them to go, what do we tell the people? Leave handling the people to me. If we kill that man, I do go will not come back to life. Igwe, hmm? you say he's an ordinary laborer? Yes. Do you believe he owns that car? Oh. <laughs> he is a wise man. That car might not belong to him. It might belong to his relative on whose behalf he has come to speak. We are all elders. We know these things. Go and call them back.
сюда. I and my elders have taken a decision. Our decision is simple. You must attend the burial of my sister with your people. As for the car, I will instruct the youths to allow you to take the car home. Tomorrow never ends. Igwe, you will be like tomorrow. Igwe, you will continue to meet mercy throughout your life. Thank you. Nietzsche, thank you. Okay, you can go home. one you're sleeping at this time of the day. Are you sure that? <laughs> well, if it is what I'm thinking, I thank God. You know, my only brother, Ego Beke, has been in this village for some days now. That is true. I want to go and see him. Let me know when he's going back to Patako. Yes. And through 
this way you came in. He left us here. He went to where? To Poracot. Didn't he tell you? Something is wrong somewhere. Yes. Maybe. Yes, so maybe. Otherwise, there should be communication with this. Naira each to all those old men that rejected him in the first place when he was in trouble. He gave them 5,000 Naira each. They were counting in my presence. As for me, brother of a rich man, I cannot even pay for the pan wine that we used in going for the burial because I bought the pan wine on credit and I don't have money to pay. And he has gone back. Oh, Give everything to God. Eh? Give everything to God. This rain will surely stop it in us one day. When? When? When the roof has fallen over two of us. When the roof has fallen on top of us. Ah, Chip. Chip, not in Chip, are you there? <laughs> My only brother. It's just the two of us, Anna. It's just the two of us. My only brother. <laughs> How can you do this? <laughs> Oh? 
Naya. Oh, God, I'm for.
service with the news of his employment at an oil industry in Port Harcourt. So that night I stole his shirt and went to a native doctor to turn his mind against his brother and bring division in the family. The native doctor tore the shirt in two as a sign of division between the brothers and did the medicine. And then Yinia quarreled over the stolen shirt. And they go back here accusing Yinia of stealing the shirt. And quarreled with him bitterly. I even judged the case for them. I judged in favor of Ego Beke. So he loved me more and always gave me money. That's fake three on the wire. Where's the, where's the third one? Are you sure you did not take it inside? I, I didn't. Now it was all on the wire here. How, how can it? I, you lost like that. I, I, now, what is it? I spent three clothes on the wire and look, I have only two here. Anyway, so what's the problem? And we're trying to find out uh, where the other one is. Anyway, you better go and find that shirt. You must have hidden it somewhere. Me? Yes! Go and get it. Okay? Let us go. Uncle? Uncle, wait. How can you judge like that? Nandi! evil in the sight of God and men. I ask you to forgive me. Hi. Uncle, 
So this is how much you hate your own brother's children. Hey! Hey, Hey, go back here. Please, forgive me. Forgive you. I feel like killing you myself! <laughs> God himself has delivered us. So, Nandi, we will not shed any blood. Let him my, my only brother, my only blood brother, please forgive me. It's all right, it's all right. I didn't know what I was doing. Hey, I have set aside the sum of three million naira for you to start business with. I've also furnished a flat for you and your wife. And your so, it's up to you to make up your mind what type of business you want to go into. <laughs> hey, my brother, thank you. I thank you. <laughs> In fact, I will think seriously about the business. Please do. do. <laughs> Please come, we are ready. Okay, let's go. Go. Brother, please call me Nandi. Oh, Christian. Ego Beke was when I was in the world. Thank God you now know. Sit down. We have to see our Oh, which uncle? Is this a joke? No! The man had been sick a long time. Because of that, his wife and his children ran away. Let us forgive and help him. No way, Inya. No way. Let the tackle of his sins burn him and let him die in his wickedness. If God had kept him alive up till now, who are we to wish him dead? Yeah. When them think about it, maybe God is using his evil and our story to teach people about something about life. When some people hear our story, they will learn something. Yeah? I hope my husband is saying this true. Let us forgive since we are believers in the word of God. Let us go and see him. I can see you're not ready to travel. You have my address. If and when you have finished forgiving your uncle, then you and your wife can meet me in Porta God. My name is Nando Christian. Ebobeke was when I was in the world. If you're a Christian, and then your name is Christian, then you must forgive. Eh? Even Nandi, Nandi, wait, wait. Let us forgive him and leave some money for him. There is nobody to take care of Uncle when we travel. Eh? Please. Look, if not for Christ, Uncle would have been a dead man by now. I know, I know. But thank God for Christ who is in me. I'll forgive him. Good. Let's not say let us go.
que me 